Oh my god, how many parts is this? You are different from those peasants, Sakuya. You were chosen from the day you were born. You must remain conscious of this. Yes, father. We are the chosen ones. It is our duty to guide the foolish common folk. Yes, father. Look at them, crawling in the mud. There is no value in their lives. We are, we are in it not for our compassion. They would die as miserably as they live. Yes, father. Their very blood is tainted. Their world is not yours. You must never speak with them again. Do you understand? Yes, father. To Japan. Yes. You will be staying there for some time. Arrangements have already been made for your education. Remember, you must such as to bring honor to our family, Sakuya. Yes, father. Also, Dr. Awamane is in residence at the institution you will be attending. He is a prestigious doctor. It would not be exaggerating to say that our current glory is thanks in part to him. Do not disrespect him. Yes, father. He is. <clears throat> Angel saw Karen going into the infirmary yesterday. Then the doctor door was locked. The doctor and Yuya must have seen her. What happened in there? They must both be lying. Yuya has been helping us all this time, and I don't want to suspect him, but he's clearly been hiding the truth. Yuya be covering for the doctor. We don't know that for sure. The Mongol could be lying to cast doubt on Dr. Awamane. It's not impossible, but from what we've seen so far, the most likely conclusion is that they're working together. Akuya, you were the one who said we needed to remove our biases. We need to solve this. I'm aware. I want to go comfort them now, but with only Angel's testimony, our evidence is a little weak. They'll probably slip out of it again if we go now. They're both much more eloquent than I am, and they'll try to dodge the issue, which means... We need to search the infirmary. Do you intend to go with him without asking? Yeah. The more stealthily we do it, the better, right? If the doctor finds out, he'll come up with some way of stopping us for sure. Understood. I will go to the lab and keep them occupied while you search the infirmary. Thank you, Sakuya. One moment, gentlemen. Mr. Leone, I have something for you. Sorry for being late. I was somewhat delayed. What are these? The first is uh, the massive key. It should open just about any of the simple locks in the school and is as bright and massive as its owner. The other is a stun gun. If you need to protect yourself, use it. You will have more use for it than I, Kara, Kara, Kawara. Hold on to them. Okay. And we just learned that Sakuya has, held, has kept his memory and Ry Ryota hasn't. Right. Thank you, Mr. Leon. Maybe I should write in the notes before I go to the infirmary. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, let's see. Hello. Hello, madam. Um, we're playing the end of Hato Full Boyfriend. It's really fucking crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's bonkers. I, I don't know what's going to happen next, but I'm sure it's going to be absolutely crazy. Okay. The hour of judgment has come. You cannot use the Dark Tree's power here. Return to the Void, Wallenstein. Well, he seems excited. I wonder what the doctor is doing. Being slandered by Miss Higure, as you can see. Please stop breaking school property, Mr. Higure. I have returned from Judica to defeat you. As long as you live, Calamitous Sorcerer, the world will be wrapped in eternal despair. When he says things with such conviction, I almost find myself believing them. Please, that isn't funny. Yes, yes. Come on, Igre. Let's go back to the gym, okay? No, stop. Do not throw me out like some wretched doll. I suspect he has suffered from some megalomania since birth. Megalomania? What do you mean? Delusions of grandeur. Shooing societal standards, he lives his life in the midst of some bizarre fantasy. Perhaps it's a genetic. There would be no helping then, would there? He is unusually active in the destruction of his surroundings, especially given his physique. Internal preju prejudice is a terrible thing, I suppose. He has no doubt exerted the limits of his capacity at all times. 
The most dangerous part of his ability is to bring his surroundings into his fantasy, though I seem to be less affected than you. <laughs> That's funny considering Angel's ending. Instance, although I invited him to the school, I've yet to find more use for him. The whole thing has been nothing but a waste of time. Huh? Did you say something just now, Doctor? Nothing, nothing to talk, nothing at all. No. Excuse me. Oh, hello, Shirogane. What's going on? Where did Kawara go? He is investigating another area at the moment. Only Dr. Owamine and Nanaki here now. Isn't Sakazaki here? I think he was walking around to calm his nerves again. He's very brave to be out and about with the Scarecrow on the loose. Not just brave. Oh, not brave, just impudent. Stupid mongrel. Stop pretending to be the migratory and get back in here so I can distract you. I wanted to occupy both of them if possible, but at least they don't realize what we suspect them yet. Just, the doctor should be enough. Dr. Wamane, I came here to ask your opinion of something. My opinion? I fear I will not be of much use to you there. My body has never required me to visit the infirmary. I've not had much occasion to talk to the doctor since moving here, but I can read his expression perfectly well, all the same. It is saying, I'm not telling you anything. Where is Mr. Kawara? Did you have a falling out? He did seem to be suspecting me based on nothing but his own prejudice. A pity. I agree, sir. To doubt, to doubt someone based merely on your own pre one's own preconceptions is... I still don't know this word. I, I think it's a French word. Balivernous, sir. It is nonsense. That's right. I must be perfectly logical in all things. You are renowned as one of the most intelligent birds in the world, doctor. I do not think that you would be involved in such grisly crime as this. It is an honor to be so praised by the heir of the Lebel family. Completely flat. Does he never speak with emotion? I hold a deep respect for you, Doctor. You might not be aware, but my father owes his life to your medicine. A few years ago, your work allowed the Lebel family to continue on to even greater glory. If that's so, I had not known. I'm afraid that I know little of the fates of the drugs that I develop. The life of but one bird may not be significant to you, but we of the Lebel family will never forget. Ho 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 ho. How wonderful. I take it your father as a figure of great respect. Of course. The family head must always be honored. It would seem that you hold the business, biases, even more dearly than Mr. Kawara holds his, almost like the foundation of your very existence. Huh? I would rather like to see this expression on your face when that foundation collapses. Oh ho 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 ho. God, he's just fucking evil. He's, she was just fucking evil. Locked. It's been locked ever since the alarm this morning. The doctor went straight to the lab to begin his autopsy, and I think he's been with somebody else ever since. Let's see, maybe that massive thing Mr. Leon gave to me will do. Okay. Yes. This room has always been a little creepy, but it's even worse in this dim light. I need to look for the evidence that Karen was in here quickly. But where do I start? The longer I spend poking around the corners, the bigger risk that I'll get caught. I need to remember that I've been here a lot every time I got sick. Where would the doctor hide something he didn't want anyone else to see? Didn't he forbid his assistance from touching his desk? It would seem he keeps his drawers locked tight. You're up, massive thing. Inside are medical records. He's probably supposed to keep personal information locked up, though I never really thought of him as the respectful type. There's only one, two, three, four files. The names are Kawara Ryota, Terry Karen, Fujishiro Nagaki, and Shirogane Sakuya. Oh, awesome. Thank you. <laughs> yes, you can get first again. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. <sighs> what? Yeah, I'm back. OBS disconnected from Twitch again. I'm not surprised to see a file on me here, but Karen and Sakuya never had any reason to be in here, and Fujishiro, Fujishiro Nageki? Looking closely, Nageki's folder says St. Pigeonation's Medical Center on the side, and the others don't. And the date is from five years ago. Did he take this from the medical center? Since it's here, he must know something about the fire back then. And the other three records from, phys records from physical exams. They're full of strange symbols and numbers, and I'm not sure what they mean. Huh? No, no, it was it was me. <laughs> Sakuyas has a second piece of paper in it. It looks like some sort of memo or... Ah, a sudden blinding pain in the back of my head. I can't move. A fall unconscious. 
Uh, where am I? I feel dizzy. Uh, that's right. I was looking for evidence in the infirmary. The medical records are gone. Somebody took them. I managed to get knocked out, even with the stun gun Mr. Leon gave me. Darn it! I don't know who attacked me, but those records must have been important to get stolen away like that. Uh, darn it! Why did I let myself get taken from behind like that? I had our records. Even with those, it would have been hard to prove anything. Whoever attacked me must have been the criminal. They probably wouldn't leave anything, but maybe they missed a clue in here somewhere. Huh? I hadn't noticed earlier, but there's a card under the desk. In a corner I wouldn't have seen if it were on the floor. This is... Karen's student ID. Blood on the corner. So it wasn't dropped here by accident before she was killed. It must have happened in here. It looks like my doubts about the doctor are confirmed, but for some reason I still feel unsure. I almost feel like this is too good to be true, like I'm being led along. If the doctor were behind it all, surely he could avoid casting so much doubt on himself. Just what is he after anyway? But I'm not worried about who's doing what and why. I'm worried about finding the one who did this to Karen. I need to talk with Sakuya. So, you think it would take a fair amount of time to cut a human up like this and distribute them into boxes, Doctor? Correct. Even if she were cut up last night and distributed this morning, it would involve a good deal of physical labor. Sakuya? You again. Can we go to the maintenance room? We need to talk. Very well. Mr. Shirogane. Yes, Doctor. Just as an aside, it would be impossible for one such as myself. Even with the knowledge and tools of a physician. Even so, I'm not particularly a healthy person. Not a healthy person? What does that mean? Doctor is slightly impaired down his right side, you know. He is? I never knew. He was injured long ago. My right wing never fully recovered, though it rarely possesses problems in my daily life. A human corpse is heavy. It seems like a bit much to go dragging around with one wing, don't you think? Yes, it's all true. Even the record of the medical facility records. It is, I see. Thanks, I'll remember that. I tell Saki about what I found in the infirmary as we head to the maintenance office. Mean, meaning Fuji, Fujishiro Nagaki's records and the doctor have something to do with the medical center. I think so, yeah. I wonder about the other records, too. Why you, me, and Karen all together? Could that really be a coincidence? Did you go there often after you moved here or anything? Not once. Nobility knows no illness. Yeah, I've never seen him sick, and he always seems pretty lively. I hadn't known about the doctor's injury. Kind of a bad thing to find out about now. Bad? Because it inconvenienced your theory. We must remain just. No harm can ever come to learning more of the truth. Yes, so. Maybe it's because he's not very active or because he never leaves the infirmary. But guess I've never really had a chance to notice his disability. If he couldn't have done it alone, it makes it seem more likely that he's working together with Yuya. Blasted mongrel. No good can ever come of his presence. He merely confuses the issue. Yeah, I mean, Yuya could have definitely helped and would have worked out. Salutations, were you gossiping about me? Yuya. What a pickle. I guess I'm the topic of choice among the boys as well as the girls now. Not that I mind. Don't let it go to your head, mongrel. We weren't saying anything good about you. That's right, Yuya. From your point of view, we were subjecting you to vile slander and ill gossips. You're very frank, Ryota. Nothing wrong with that. What kind of slander? Perhaps you shouldn't say, lest my fragile heart shatter like a maiden's crystal glass, dropped by an unkind lover. It should be obvious that we were talking about from our faces alone, but he's completely relaxed. I doubt his heart is made of glass, though. Used tires, maybe. Something that's completely impervious to abuse. Your unsolicited presence saves us the trouble of looking for you. We demand answers from you. You lied. You met Terry in the infirmary yesterday. Did you kill her? So, you doubt me. I'd love to see your evidence. We found her ID, stained in blood, in the infirmary. You are duty-bound to answer. What did you see in the infirmary yesterday? And what did you do? Well, I can't tell you anything. Sorry. I can't say anything at all. Cease this foolishness. You know something, don't you? Do not attempt to dodge the... Oh, God. 
Uh, oh. Uh. Ryan, you too. Such terrible timing. Nobody likes a man who can't read the atmosphere, Mr. Scarecrow. Is this time for jokes? Run, go! Oh my god. <laughs> Ryota seems to have left us in the dust. Maybe we should hurry up a little. Well, it doesn't look like it's noticed us. I guess it's not too keen on chasing people. Your idle flirtations sicken me. Filthy mongrel. Shh. Do you want it to hear us? How about this? I'll go first and lure Mr. Beanpole Man towards the cafeteria. You head for the maintenance room while it's distracted, okay? You planned acts as a decoy. Don't think this will stop me from suspecting you. I wasn't asking you to. I've been your ally until now, so why stop now? Our ally? Anyway, run for it as soon as they're out of sight. Adieu! That's true, he's part of the Dove Party, right? Like, we learned that. Akia, you're okay. I was worried that maybe you got caught. Indeed. Isn't Yuya with you? We never got him to answer anything. I do not know. He ran in the opposite direction. Hmm. We don't have much time left. I think the only thing to do is to get him to talk and then confront the doctor. He's been helping us this whole time, but I don't know if we can still consider him our ally. Our ally. Indeed. You've always been separated, right? So you don't really know how he usually acts, or if he'd likely do something like this, or... How could I know? He and I live in different worlds, as my father said. I couldn't know. I'm an only child, so I don't really understand siblings, but I think I know how you feel about him, Sakia. Don't make me repeat myself. He and I have no connection. But I want to believe that he's not my enemy. Looks like Sakia isn't entirely sure what to think. The prime suspects are the doctor who aided his family and his own half-brother. If I were given in the same situation, I wouldn't be as calm as he is. We should write in the notes and then go talk to the doctor. Go find out what exactly happened in the infirmary. We figured out a lot of things, but there's still a lot that remains a mystery. It's 6 p.m. We don't have much time. Can we solve this and get out alive in only four hours? Okay, I guess that means save. Let's save. I don't know if I did that right. It looked weird. Okay. There we go. All right. Let's go, Sakuya. Huh? Sakuya? Your friend already left, young one. Why didn't you say so earlier? He's planning to confront the doctor alone. Oh, no. Sakuya, don't do that. Don't do that. Father is of the pure bloodline, and so his life is of the utmost value. By extension, the doctor who saved his life must also be valuable. I must not disrespect him, because that is what father told me. My brother, born of a low father, is a worthless being. Though he looks noble, his veins flow with filthy, impure blood. I must not associate with those of low birth, because that is what father told me. I am no longer sure. What is blood? Why does it divide us so? That is a great question, Sako. You should absolutely be asking that. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, hello again, Shirogane. Where is the doctor? He said he was going back to the infirmary. Maybe he forgot something there. Thank you. You're going right after him. Don't you want any tea? Well, be careful. He looked rather troubled. I hope he's all right. Doctor? Mr. Shirogane, you look quite fatigued. Would you care to rest a little while? You... You're all, you are wrong, are you not, sir? Whatever do you mean? I wish to learn the truth. What did you and Sakazaki do? Which of you decided to kill Terry? That is not something to say without proof, Mr. Shirogane. But then, we have but little time left. Perhaps I will explain things to you. I did not kill Miss Terry. This is the truth. Hmm? Of course. How could I let myself be swayed by idle rumors? The doctor could not possibly carry out such an atrocity. Mr. Sakazaki didn't kill her either, which raises the question, who did? Sakazaki admitted that he was involved in the crime. He cannot possibly be. I merely said that he did not kill her. I did not say he was not involved. Of course, the name applies to the same applies to myself. You, the two of you didn't kill her, but you were involved. Then how? Who did kill her? Oh dear me, this won't do. Talking to you makes me feel like I'm about to fall asleep. I suppose these are the limits of the mongrel. 
What did he just say? Doctor, I... Could you be quiet for a minute, Mr. Shirogane? You bore me. Filthy, lowborn, mongrel. What... What are you saying, sir? I am not like Saka. You did well. Thanks to you, Mr. Kawara has found almost everything he needs. Just one more push and it'll be done. Thank you, Mr. Shirogane. A glint of white steel. His left wing slowly traces the arc through the air. I'm dying. I'm dying. What did he say? Why was I left behind? I can't think. Sakazaki! Stop that, Isa! I told you not to touch my brother. Suddenly, Sakazaki Yuya blocks out the sun. Blood is spreading across the floor. Am I unhurt? Who's... Your wing! Such beautiful brotherly love, Mr. Sakazaki. You were the real hero all along, of course. I only promised that I wouldn't tell other people. Not that I wouldn't tell him myself. Or that I wouldn't kill him. And after all that work to steal the records from Mr. Kawara too? Yeah, you've always been like this. A coward and a villain to the core. Oh, such flattery. What are you doing, Doctor? Why? Why are you doing this? I told you, remember? You bore me. Now that you have helped Mr. Kawara as much as you can, I have no more use for you. Why would you put up with your babbling now that I'm done with you? I don't understand, sir. What do you mean? And Sakazaki? That is exactly what I'm talking about. I have no responsibility to explain to you. Goodbye, Mr. Shirogane. No, don't move, Sakuya. Sakuya? Oh, Mr. Kawara. We were just discussing you. Yuya standing over Sakuya, blood running down his body. Doctor standing next to him. There's no question what happened. Doctor? So it was you all along? Was it? I wonder about that. Ho 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 ho. Okay, I gotta get Sakuya's voice again. Pull yourself together, Sakazaki. Say something. Don't worry. He won't die just yet. I'm sure you'll enjoy a confession or two, so ask him all you want. Wait, doctor. They bust in so many windows. They bust in so- Oh my god. Uh, The scarecrow. There you are, Labor 9. I was waiting for you. Come, let's go. Labor 9? Uh, Labor 9? That's the scarecrow's name? So he was working under the doctor this whole time. Just a little more, Mr. Kawara. Do you think you'll remember soon? Stop running away. You killed Karen. I will never forgive you. I'm glad you're so lively. That's good. I shall be waiting for you deep beneath the surface. Chase me, Mr. Kawara. I reach out. I can't reach. The doctor and the scarecrow are gone. Oh no. Don't go chasing that beanpole man on your own, Ryota. Good man keeps his cool, even in times like this. Don't speak, you're still bleeding. Don't worry. Who the hell do you think I am? I'll be fine. I know my limits better than anyone else. I won't die to a little scalpel. Getting whacked with a cleaver would have been bad, but... There are plenty of bandages here. Saki, you wait. I'll go get Mr. Leon. Wait, Ryota. I have things to tell you. Can you wait long enough to hear my confession? Like the doctor said, there's no time to waste, so let me tell you everything I can. This might be our last chance. It's too late, Sakazaki. If you were involved, why didn't you tell us before? <laughs> we had a deal. Of course, he broke it without a second thought. The doctor and I did not kill her. That's the truth. But then why did he... She died in this room. After school, yesterday. That is also the truth. Then there was someone else. Yes. Right as always, Sakuya. And that third person killed Karen. Who was it? I'm sorry. I can't tell you that. I think you'll figure it out. I have to apologize to you. The doctor and I were the ones who cut her up. So you stuffed her into the boxes. It was the time. The doctor needed to be sure of when she'd be found. He decided morning would be would give time for the most humans to gather. Suppose we probably thought putting her in the print boxes was funny too. The most humans, why would... 
Looks like I've stayed on the fence to the very end. I didn't have to resolve to go either way. If only things had been a little different. <coughs> I thought you said you'd be fine. Are you worried for me? I'm honored. You go outside for a bit, Ryota. We'll go to the maintenance office afterwards. Just for a little... I, I want to talk to Sakuya alone. Do we get to see that part? Uh, you have a new father now, Yuya. He has a beautiful mansion and you'll be moving here tomorrow. But your new father says he doesn't want your doesn't want your brother. He says he can only feed you if you leave the egg behind. Mother is sad. He is her son, too. I will go. I will throw my brother away, mother. Give me the egg. The new father killed my father. I know he did. He killed him so he could take my mother from him. I waited. Until she laid a new egg. Until she laid an egg with the new father's child inside. I had hid him away in the mansion, and I switched them. So he will raise my brother as his own son. The new father hates me, but he will love my brother. He will give him nice food and nice clothes and a nice bed. My brother won't know. No one will know but me. I hate the new father. I took the new egg and I smashed it. Oh, man. So Saki is not really like pure blood or anything. That egg was smashed. Oh, that's so sad. That poor dead birdie. I've always thought that maybe I should have told you. The doctor didn't lie. You're the same as me, Sakuya. We were never half-brothers. You're my real brother. I impossible! I'm the heir to the Bell family. Father told me so. Everyone told me so. I was raised for no other purpose. I never told anyone that I'd switch the eggs. Father found out now he'd throw you away. Did it for you. No, maybe I didn't. Maybe I did it despite that man. I killed the child he had with my mother. That was the cross I had to bear. It was never your problem. I was happy just to see you living in luxury. You, you under, under what authority? <laughs> None, you're right. I only ever listen to myself. But the doctor noticed. He must have realized. I guess I was doing what he said all along since I took your lineage. The fact that I killed the LaBelle, the other father's child, will never leave me. I'll never be able to forget. If you're blamed for that child's death, you have to press on. You can't let it stop you. I've always worried about whether I should tell you or not. And now, it's too late. So, fool to deny me my lineage now. I'm sorry, Sakuya. I should have told you long ago. I was never sure of myself as you. If if I'm not of the LaBelle line, what am I? I knew you'd ask that. Straightforward as always. <laughs> Leave this place, Sakuya, and think about it long and hard. You have a lot more to worry about than just who your family is, after all. No, wait. Sakazaki, stay with me. There's still so much for you to tell me. It's been a long time since we talked this much. I talked to you every day when you were still an egg. Pull yourself together, Yuya. You can't leave me like this. You said a little scalpel like this couldn't kill you. I should apologize about that, too. Remember the headmaster? That was nerve toxin. I mean, the scalpel had. Go on, Sakuya. Leave your liar brother and go. The doctor must have a way out of here. You are yourself. Never let anyone tie you down. Later, buddy. Oh, Yuya. Yuya! Yuya! Oh, God. There's six class. Okay. How many classes are there? I need to Google this. Quick friend and gang out. Class six on the last one. Hey, there is people saying it's really long. Hmm. But they don't say how many classes. Oh, there's eight. Okay. There's eight classes. Holy crap. Welcome in, Dragon's Hide. Did you hear about the new origami porn channel? It's pay-per-view only. Wow. Wow. 
You're the best. You're the best. How have you been, dragons? Okay. Sixth class. Uh, can we finish? I don't know if we're going to finish it all. I did. I had no idea the ending was this long. I thought this the ending would be like a little short thing. I should have broken this up better. So we might be playing Hat to a Full Boyfriend again next week. I might be wrong. It's 6 p.m. I haven't had much of a sense of time passing since the dome appeared, but it's already evening. The atmosphere in the maintenance office is so tense. The doctor said he'd be waiting deep beneath the surface. Does this building have a basement? Certainly not one that appears on the local plans, but maybe. Under the medical center, but that one's blocked off with concrete. It does not seem to me that the medical center is an entirely independent building. There may well be a path from this building into the basement there. Is there anything you might have missed something? Missed something or forgotten something. So this final part is divided into classes and I'm on class six. There's apparently eight classes. I thought this final ending would be a short little thing that we would do, but no, it's been the longest route so far. <laughs> I had no idea since I'm doing this blind. So I promise Sims later, but Sims ain't gonna happen. But we're gonna try to finish this today. Missed something or forgotten something. Somewhere I forgot to look. Oh, that's right. The encyclopedia from the library in the medical center in the chronology of medical records. I'd like to talk to Nagaki again. You've thought of something. Yeah, I need to go check. Sakuya. He hasn't spoken since what happened in the infirmary. I can't blame him. I know how he feels. Better to leave him alone. Oh, sad. I know. I'm worried about it, too. You're fading again. What is this? Is this Karen? Where are you? Nageki. There you are. What is it? I found out a lot about the school and about you. Oh, I found out a lot about the school and about you. I see. Suppose you know who I am, then. Sort of, but there are things I need to ask you. That's why I'm here. The fire five years ago in the dome today, how are they related? Nakaki must know something about the secrets this school holds. You aren't really here anymore, are you? That might be so. Or it might not. I saw in the school records, it says you died five years ago in an accident in the medical center. I had become aware of that. I stopped my own clock here. That's why I can never leave. You stopped your... In other words, at the very least, I took my life through my own will. I am almost sure of that. So you didn't die in an accident. He hangs his head in silence. Looks like he can't remember everything from before he died. I need a clue. There must be a basement under the medical center, and I need to get in there. Oh, that's right. The encyclopedia. The encyclopedia. You used to go to the medical center, right? Did you switch one of the encyclopedias from there with one here? I would... That's what I want to know. I guess I should just tell him. Look, you know how the encyclopedias here are out of order. There are two copies of Volume 9 and no Volume 6. The Medical Center has the same encyclopedias. Oh, the Medical Center has the same encyclopedias? Yeah, there are two copies of 6 there and no 9. How disorderly. Yeah. Anyway, one of the copies of Volume 6 here has a library sticker on it. Someone must have taken it from here. Switch the encyclopedias. Mr. Kawara, try reading this copy of Volume 9. Looking's worth a thousand spoken words, I guess. Huh? This isn't right. It looks like just another book when it's closed, but it's a box. It's full of files. Some sort of documents. They're all They're all from five years ago. These must have been... What does it say? That one. Let's see. Operation Hatoful. This is talking about using carrier individuals as biological weapons to fight humans? It has the same title as the file in the headmaster's office, but I never expected anything like this. Meaning that the school has been being used for biological weapons development for the last five years. 2180. New strains of Sumatra influenza isolated. 2183, a new strain has been isolated from Fu Fujishiro Nageki. It is lethal to humans. It has been named Charon virus. 
and has entered research at St. Pigeonation's Medical Center. Charon virus. Humans, I met, I always get very sick. Are you remembering something? Yes, I think so. I think I was the one who brought that book here. The birds with me in the medical center often did secret things in the reference room. I wanted to tell someone, tell someone important what was happening. What was it? My family? It, it must have been my family. That's right. I burned. I had to disappear. Didn't I notice? I looked to see... He paces nervously in circles, rambling onto himself. If you've realized something, it would help me to know what it is. I've remembered. Remembered what happened here five years ago. I can't remember my parents' faces. I lived in an orphanage with other birds my age before I could remember. I never thought much of it at the time, but apparently every birdie there was a war orphan. But I did not resent the humans who had started the war. I didn't care. I thought that living with other chicks and no parents was as neutral as could be. One day, the endless routine was broken and some humans broke into our orphanage. They had guns and kept shouting, free humanity, free humanity. I think that's what they said. They barricaded themselves in our house and killed us one at a time. It was helpless. I could only hide in the corner and weep as my family was killed before my eyes. I don't know how much time had gone by since they came when I looked around the silent room. They were all collapsed on the floor. Birds had come to save us. They had come and killed the evil humans. That's what I thought, but... You have been granted a great power. You are one of the chosen few. I left the orphanage with my one remaining sibling and we lived in an apartment. But I was weak. I couldn't go to school or get a job. It was nothing but a burden. And then I received this invitation. We wish to welcome you with special treatment. How would you like to study at the world's foremost avian school? We will provide anything you need, anything at all. There is a hospital on the school grounds. We'll provide room for you to live there. You shall receive all the care you require. I was living with my brother. I didn't want to leave him. But if I continued to live with him, I would only hold him down. He was happy to hear that I would have a chance to improve my physical condition. And so I enrolled in St. Pigeonations. I was still weak, and so I often stayed in my room. I had no friends, but I was not unhappy. The nurses and faculty were all very kind to me. And then early in my first summer vacation, the doctor made a proposal to me. This vacation is a perfect opportunity. Would you like to undergo intensive treatment? You'll have to stay inside for some time, but by the end of the summer, you should be as healthy as any other bird in the school. And so began a long summer in the underground facility. First, a routine of daily examinations and numerous medications. And then the experiments began. The experiments to kill humans. A human would be brought to me. They would struggle and gasp, and then, with the last painful sigh, they would stop moving. I knew why I was brought here. Living in my body was a virus deadly to humans in a matter of minutes. My parents, whose faces I never knew, were killed by humans. Everyone else in the orphanage was killed by humans, and in return, I killed another human with each experiment, simply by standing in the same room as me, by breathing the same air as me. I would collapse. I couldn't stand it. I had no reason not to hate them, but watching them die in front of me shaved away at my heart little by little, and so I decided to end it all. I had only one wish. I wanted to disappear from this world without a trace. Charon virus, or Charon virus. The deadly guess that made its home in my body. That's what they called it. No doubt they were searching for a way to destroy humanity with that virus. That was Operation Hatoful. Yes. That's why I... That's why I burned it all five years ago. There should have been nothing left, but I am not here... But maybe, just maybe, there's still a little something left somewhere. And I can feel him close by, my... Mr. Koara, are you going to the basement? I don't have a choice. To find a way out of here alive and to find out what killed Karen, I need to ask the doctor. I see. That encyclopedia. What else is inside? Oh. Piece of paper folded along with the files. This is... A map of the medical center? When I was there, I went through the medical center. But... I must connect with the main building somewhere near here. Um, this looks like the gym, so those stairs are... 
I believe it is in the chemistry preparation room. The researchers often went in there. The doctor is beneath the preparation room. Thank you, Nagaki. I have to go. Yes, I think you will be seeing me again, and... Miss Terry as well. Let's save again. Okay. We only have 30 minutes. It's taken us two hours to do six classes. Oh, gosh. Uh, it's taken us two and a half hours to do six classes. So. Okay. Uh, let's just finish it. Let's just finish it and we'll run a little long. Yeah, we've been so it took about it took about an hour to do um, a zombies route that we did. So it was like at about one o'clock. So we've been going for two and a half hours. For this ending. <clears throat> I'm going to definitely have to chop this up for YouTube. <laughs> Okay, seventh class, let's go. Staircase in the preparation room. I've never noticed one. I wonder where it could be. If the scarecrow went down there with the doctor, it would need to be a pretty big opening. We'll have to go look. 7 p.m. already. We only have three hours until we're overrun with bloodthirsty humans. We don't know for sure if there's an escape route in the basement, but it's our best bet. Maybe we should get every birdie from the gym to come with us as soon as we find the stairs. Leave that to me. Mr. Leone! I'll take care of the other students. Don't worry. I'm not a massive agent for nothing. Well then, thank you, Mr. One. Um, you aren't going with him, sir? I'm going to come with you, Kawara. We never know what could happen. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I am your homeroom teacher, after all. You've done such a good job so far. I want to be there to help you if things get dangerous. What about you, Sakuya? You two go ahead. I'll catch up with you. Right, okay. We're going to get out of here together, okay? It changed a hurtful boyfriend down here. I just realized that. I don't know when that changed, if it's been that way the whole time, or just when we found out how to fool means hurtful. Too much happened today for both Sakuya and me. I don't know what's going on in his mind, and he doesn't seem interested in telling me, but if he wants to be alone, that's for the best. I guess it's the two of us then, Mr. Nagaki. If something bad happens, one of us can come back to warn you and the others, Mr. Leon. Understood. Vents Operation Breakout it is then. Not so fast. <laughs> Angel? What does he want now? We don't have time for messing around. Exitress, Melodia, Funus. You travel now to the Abyss of Despair, do you not? Uh, the Abyss of Despair? I sense demon spores far greater in power than even those released by the tree. The Dark Sorcerer Wallenstein alone. The Wallenstein guy's the doctor, right? Okay, uh... We're coming for you, Wallenstein. Wait, Angel, we need to be careful, wait! He certainly is lively. Let's go. I think this is the first time I've been in here. It's kind of bland. Mm, yes. Not very friendly room, but not distasteful either. This place is flooded with demon spores. Any good bird would normally avoid it. Can you think of anything, sir? Like a hidden door, or...? I don't come here very much, so, um... Feel a draft? A draft? There's no windows in here. It must be coming from the basement. Be silent, my crimson breast. We must hold back, or the eulogy of doom will. Gate of Erebus, guide me into the abyss. Wait, calm down. Angel, you can't. Uh-oh. More crashing, more window breaking. Oh, there it is. So it was behind the mirror all along. He's a lot more clever than he acts, isn't he? Even if he does spout nonsense whenever he opens his beak. Let us proceed. 
Texatris Melodia Funis. The Master of Abyss awaits us below. Okay. A long, dark staircase winds downward behind the mirror. How far does it go? The basement itself should be pretty big. This is sort of like the entrance into the subway tunnel. Let's go. Oh, yep, this is the experiment. Very impressive. This is a lot fancier than I expected. I never knew this huge place was underneath the school. This faculty has been used for research to kill humans since the school was founded. No facility. I, Karen, none of us ever knew. We lived our carefree lives with all of this going on beneath our feet. Mm, I don't see any birdie. I wonder if it's closed now. Yeah, it's clean and orderly, but I get don't get the feeling that it's still in use. There was a fire somewhere down here five years ago, and since then the whole facility has been shut up. I suppose they froze whatever project they were working on. Hey, Angel, which way do you think we should go to find the doctor? That would be, uh, my crimson breast murmurs. The Midnight Hunter approaches. Oh, <laughs> the Scarecrow is the Midnight Hunter. Oh, shit. Couldn't you have said that earlier? Oh, dear, what if we don't get past him? We can't go on. We cannot reach Wallenstein without first defeating his Dark Servant. This trial cannot be avoided. Okay, battle. We're going to have to battle him. But all we've ever managed to do is run away from this thing. How can we... Uh... We can't go anywhere just by running away. Do we have any sort of weapon? A weapon? I do have a stun gun Mr. Leon lent me. Will he even work on a scarecrow? Maybe not at normal output, but it looks like a living creature, so I doubt it would be completely unaffected. The Midnight Hunter is a hound bred from the Black Void. We must purify it with holy water. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. What? What did he even say? There's fire hoses on the wall there. If we time it right. Oh yeah, <laughs> make a short circuit. Mr. Nanaki wobbles towards the wall and pulls out a hose. Worse. Ready? He points the hose at the scarecrow and opens the valve. Angel, Angel, sir, get back. I set the stun gun to maximum and hurl it at the scarecrow. Why did you throw it? It's a gun. You would shoot it. <laughs> yep, we electrified it. It collapses with an unpleasant noise. Its electrified metal arm twitches for a moment, but then it is still. We did it! Electricity is a powerful thing indeed. The thunderous voice of doom, judgment has come. Ugh. Goodbye, Mr. Scarecrow. Onwards. Okay, we escaped. We escaped the Scarecrow. Oh, we're back in this room. Disgraceful. What am I doing here? A label is not allowed hesitation. How did I know that was Sophia? No, I have not even the right to claim that restriction anymore. Yuya. Foolish. No, not ish at all. I am a fool. I have been pampered my entire life, while in my shadow he crawled along under the weight of a crime of which only he knew. I have been nothing but vain and selfish. What should I do, Yuya? Cuckoo! It's Sakuya! Sakuya is here! Leave! No one wanted you to come here. Everyone is leaving. It is a grand, daring escape. Cuckoo! Saku, you will find Ryoto with Okasan. Away we go. Shut up. Don't talk to me. Cool? Saku, you weeps. N no, I do not. It is raining. Cuckoo! Is Saku, you in pain? This is bad. We must do something about it. Oh, cuckoo! Okasan used healing touch. Confound you! Must I repeat? Cuckoo! Okusan knows. Okusan heard that Yuya has gone somewhere far, far away. We will never see him again. So they told you. Coo! Do not worry. If we cannot meet him, we need only chase after him. Do you have any idea what you're saying? Death is not a good place to chase someone to. No doubt the older breeds have no concept of death. Chase Yuya into the grave. What kind of fool would... Coo! Okusan knows. The earth is a ball, so if we run far enough, we will find him. What foolishness. Speaking with mongrels only makes my head hurt. Except I'm a mongrel too. 
Poor mongrels, who do not even notice their own errors, that is. Cuckoo! Okusan is not a mongrel. Coo! Sakuya and Yuya. And Okusan all have their own wonderful names, names more important than any breed. Is that your argument? That isn't even. No, it kind of is. It kind of is, okay? Oh, there's more Yuya lines. You're never yourself. Never let anyone tie you down. Huh? I am myself. Cuckoo! It's time to go. Okasan and friend are late. Cuckoo! Kick reason to the curb. Time to blast out of this prison and find Yuya. The fuck? Oka is, Oko is always brimming with useless energy. As he was. Am I the same, perhaps? We will never see him again, no matter how far we run. But if he were here now, what would he do? What would he want me to do? At any rate, moping around here won't get us anywhere. Two more hours. I will chase after him. I will never find him, but I will find myself. That's right, Sakuya. Let's go, Oko. There's nothing more for us here. Cuckoo! Sakuya is best when he acts cool after Ryota full speed ahead. Yeah, go help them. The demon spores are thick in the air. I smell the scent of the sorcerer. I feel a little nervous relying on Angel's bizarre intuition alone, but it's worked so far and we're in a hurry. Is he actually following the doctor's scent or is that just an angelism? There is some very advanced equipment in here and these documents look fairly new. Maybe this place is still in use. There's a register of names left open on the desk. Maybe it's a student register? Look, your name's here too, Angel. Dark grimoire. I feel the tendrils of imminent tragedy. They have notes on some of the students, too. Under Kigure. He acts like a neurotransmitter when excited. He seems to produce intoxicating or hallucinogenic pheromones. Physical exertion acts as a stimulant. The pheromone causes others to temporarily lose control of themselves, but its useless usefulness is limited. Not currently applicable to combat. That's not true. There was combat in his route. That's not, so that's not true. I shall not allow the sorcerer to make me his pawn. I am the Crimson Angel of Judica, destined to wander this earth alone. I am not sure what he's talking about, but he sounds and looks unexpectedly heroic. Looks like all the students who are invited have some sort of physical idiosyncrasy. How did you enroll, Kawara? How? I was invited to. I didn't know why. Hmm. Yours is just a bunch of numbers. I wonder if it's an explanation for something like Higure's. Huh? No, the black miasma of inevitable doom draws near. We are approaching the gate of the abyss. I feel its foul wind. Let's go. The doctor's waiting for us. Could you wait a minute, Kawara? What is it, sir? We're about almost done. We need to... I want to ask you something first, Kawara. You lied, did you not? Huh? Lied. Me. I don't know why you would lie about that. Or maybe you forgot, even though it was just yesterday. Yesterday? After school? Like I said, I went to... I said to Sakia, I don't know anything about it. We have to ask the doctor. Mm, I see. Let's go then. No, tell us what really happened. What? Mr. Na Nanaki follows Angel down towards the innermost room. I've been trying to find the truth about Karen's death since this morning. Why would I lie? Maybe Mr. Nanaki misunderstood something, but that seems too simple. No, he didn't. You are lying. You just don't remember. In contrast to the rooms above, this area is dark and filthy. It must be where the fire was five years ago. I feel like I can smell the soot just by looking at the walls here. Nagaki threw himself into the sea of fire here to end the experiments. I wonder what I would have done in this place. Would I have ended it all just like him, or... You're late, Mr. Kawara. I've grown tired of waiting. The Dark Sorcerer Wallenstein. Okay. Doctor. It wasn't just Karen. You killed the headmaster as well. If it weren't for you, the boy who went outside wouldn't have been. What are you? Why are you doing this? Must I repeat myself? I told you before, I merely disassembled Miss Terry after the fact. I did not kill her. Do you think I care? Hmm, it would appear that you need some assistance. I told you before, but you should already have everything you need to answer your question. Who killed Terry Karen? 
Do not listen to the dark sorcerer's words, Texatris Melodia Fundus. He will lay a spell on you. What the fuck? Perhaps a peanut gallery could keep its thoughts to itself. What? An iron grid drops behind me like the evil wizard's porticlus. I'm cut off. Oh dear, we appear to be shut in. No, the dark spell. What are you doing? Nothing at all. I simply have no business with them. I was waiting for you, Mr. Kawara. Now, let us return to our conversation. Our conversation about the truth you seek. You have done an unbelievably cruel things, Doctor. You are involved in the medical center here, too. Nothing you can say will change my mind. How pugnacious of you. But you are lacking in logic. What I may or may not have done has little to do with the truth of my words. I was employed at the facility from the beginning. No doubt you have already deduced that I was working on Operation Hattoful. Operation Hattoful? The plan to wipe out humanity with the Charon virus. Precisely. Oh, it does make me so happy when students read ahead and come prepared for the lecture. You're exemplary. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Fuck. The strain we isolated from the original host was extremely powerful, quite possibly the deadliest in human history. However, strains of such lethality tend to be fragile themselves. Charon virus was no exception. It cannot last very long outside the host body. In order to deliver it to the enemy, we would have had to send live carriers into their society and allow it to spread via airborne infection. This proved troublesome. Charon virus, in addition to being harmless to birds, is ill-equipped to establish itself in our bodies. Fujishiro Nagaki is the original host, has a rare genetic condition which resulted in a slightly compromised immune system, and his body alone was Charon able to safely reside. Alas, he refused to cooperate. You forced him to kill human prisoners. If it weren't for your experiments, he would never have killed himself. Indeed. It had not occurred to us that the tests of the strain's effects would harm his mental health. We expected that he would be glad to have the chance to revenge himself on humanity, but sadly, it was not so, and we lost our sample. The project was put on an indefinite hold with his death, but thankfully would not lose his corpse in its entirety. I preserve his remains, and have kept them on this to this day. I have been waiting for a new carrier to arrive. It sounds like this was a very labor-intensive project. Wasn't there a better way? Quite right. I digress a little, but there was a reason for our methods. It did not take me long to come up with a better plan. We need only compromise a subject's immune system, creating a compatibility like Fujishiro Nagaki's. Compromise the immune system. They die. Indeed. Even if the subject were able to become a carrier for the Charon virus, if they died to some other infection, it would be all for naught. Which is why I was very careful with whom I chose. I worked on the subject over time, slowly weakening his immune system. I suppose I should count myself lucky that I achieved my goal in only a year. That's why he was in the infirmary all the time. You are an exemplary student, Mr. Kawara. I give you full marks. Oh, Marks? Put it together, Ryota. My head hurts. Almost as if some strange creature is wiggling about deep inside my brain. Are you okay, Ryota? Mr. Nanaki said you were coming here, so I wanted to make sure you were all right. Aaron came to the infirmary? To see me. We've come this far. I'm sure you can answer this. What was it that you forgot? Everything's hazy. I think my stomach's acting up again. The medicine Dr. Uwamane gives me and, and lie down. Oh, I drink the medicine Dr. Uwamane gives me and lie down. But my body still feels heavy. I'm tired. Are you okay, Ryota? Yeah, I'm fine now. Mr. Nanaki said you were coming here, so I wanted to make sure you were all right. Karen is reaching towards me. Want to go home? I'll walk you. Her hand stops. Karen falls to her knees, clutching her chest. Ryota, I can't breathe. Oh, she can't breathe. This is bad. My mother said to get home early. Everything feels so strange. Almost like it's a dream. I need to go home. Bye, Karen. See you tomorrow. Ugh. No, okay. No. So, it's still Shu that killed her. It's still Shu. It's, it, Ryota didn't do that. He didn't know. He had no idea. It's still Shu. Mm -mm. She fell down before my eyes, and then... The experiment was a resounding success. Miss Terry displayed the archetypical symptoms of a human infected with Charon virus and passed away. I... Once the virus is inside a human's body, it shuts down the respiratory system in a matter of minutes. Technically speaking, it causes an overreaction of the immune system, which leads to widespread 
apoptosis of the lungs, but more simply, any human who comes into contact with you will die, you see? You're lying. Karen and I were together since we were children. Of course, I only administered the live virus to you yesterday. All of the things I've done to you over the past year have been in preparation for it. You recognize this. Scarecrow's head. Yes, alas, the body is now useless, but I shall tell you about the Labor Nine, the be being you call the Scarecrow. It is of the labor model new humans developed by Dove Party researchers, but denounced as unethical. We birds have advanced quickly, but our physical capabilities are still far behind those of the human race. These new creatures were livestock, if you will, to compensate for that. The labor series was a great step towards the beautiful ideal of coexistence with humans. With the human's head mounted inside the artificial body, they were durable and capable of difficult tasks. Of course, they never entered development. The project would have been shut down early due to ethical complaints. However, I carried on the Dove Party's research will and created this prototype to be my sidekick. We didn't want too many other people snooping around and disrupting our investigation, so I had to patrol the building. And now, the next question. What is inside the bag? A human head. No, 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 no. Close. But you have to be more specific. I believe we had Miss Terry's head sent to your classroom, but did you notice anything missing? Missing? When I found her in the box, I was too shocked to look for clues. I may well have missed something. Wait. It doesn't mean... Aaron's brain. Correct. You do catch on quickly. Miss Terry did come to meet you quite frequently. Of course, having been placed in Labor 9, she has lost much of her personality. Then she's... Alive. But her body's gone. All that's left is her brain. Can we still call that alive? Alive or not alive? I don't know anymore. Can you save her? It's a difficult question. We tend to think of there being a definite border between life and death. But really, it's quite vague. Her personality still remains in the world up until a few minutes ago. But you gave poor Labor Nine quite a shock, shall we, shall we say. Alas, Miss Terry's brain is no doubt irreversible damage. The wonders of modern medicine can do nothing for her now but sigh and shake their heads. Yesterday her body, and today her mind. You are far more twisted villain than I could ever hope to be, Mr. Kawara. Fuck you. I killed Karen. It's my fault all along. Why did it have to happen this way? This was all arranged for you. I had Labor 9, Mr. Sakazaki, and the Headmaster help you along in your investigation. But you are one step to the end now. You must remember one more thing. What was it that you and Miss Terry told me long ago? Come, follow me. He holds out a wing. What lies beyond here? Karen's gone. The one who killed her was here from the beginning. I have nothing more to lose. You are obedient, Mr. Kawara. Wait. Hexatrus, Melodia, Funnus. The demon spores are the thickest that way. You will not be able to return. That's right. The doctor is probably going to do something unspeakably horrible to you, Kawara. Come back. Thank you for bringing Mr. Kawara this far, you two. And now, goodbye. Phantom, the avatar of miasma. You do take everything in stride, don't you, Higure? <laughs> oh my god. Two humans lie in a twisted pile. They're Karen's parents. She said they worked as med medi mediators between birds and humans. They were trying to say something to the humans barricaded on the other side of the wall, but they received only bullets as a reply. The death of her parents became a signal. The birds surrounding the little house cross the wall as one. I can hear gunfire from inside. I can hear humans and birds screaming. We could do nothing but stand outside and watch. And then the stranger came and spoke to us. Is there anything you desire? I will grant any wish for you. So tell me. I answered. I don't want these things to happen anymore. My wish is for a world where humans and birds no longer fight. Even if I die, I want there to be peace. And Karen continued, I agree. I would do anything to make Ryota's wish come true. The stranger nodded. It might not be possible right now, but one day I will make it happen. When we were children, that's right. That was you. That was the other thing you had forgotten. You've remembered, I see. Eight years ago, a number of humans barricaded themselves in a building not far from where we lived. Karen's parents were shot by the other humans, and many birds and humans were killed in the ensuing gunfight. 
and I met the doctor. I asked for a whole world in which humans and birds no longer fight. You and Miss Terry said you would both be glad to die to bring it about, and I'm carrying out your wish just as you had stated it. Even symbiotic relationships are not free from strife, in order to end the wars between humans and birds forever. One race would have to be completely destroyed. You see? Why did you choose me back then? Choose you? Why did I ask you what your wish was, you mean? I assure you, it was not coincidence. I am not so bored as to wander around granting wishes willy-nilly. I, too, had made a promise to grant your wish. The preliminary test yesterday was a resounding success. We need only transfer the original lysosomes in from Fushi Fush Fujishiro Nageki to you, and everything will be in place. I've granted your wish, though I did make you jump through a few hoops, so you would remember your wish and understand my intentions. It would be the least you could do to at least acknowledge all I have done for you. Hmm? I don't care about anything now. Karen's gone. My wish has destroyed everything. Nothing good's ever happened. If this is what my life is to be like, I wish I'd never been born. I don't want to see anything anymore. Don't be anxious. You have no will to resist. So soon you will forget it all. Good night, Mr. Quora. Oh my god. Ah, oh, my crimson breast senses dang. <coughs> Talking will just make it worsey, Gray. It seems to be leaking quite slowly. I'm glad we have a little more time, but it's getting hard to breathe. Wallenstein, you coward. Come out and f- <laughs> Coo! Coo! <laughs> Hold on a little longer. We'll get you out of there. I will try to open the cage, Oko. You see this gas. Coo! Coo! Okasan shall not fail. Okasan, I forgot they were on their way. Oh my god. Ah, oh, much better. No one can say you slack off a student president, Shirogane. The crimson breast shall not forget this. Are you two alone? Where did Kawara go? Cuckoo! Were you separated? Did Ryota wander off and get lost? No, he he got carried off by the doctor. Carried off? Cuckoo! Oh no, but no doubt the doctor is making him drink nasty protein supplements as we speak. If we do not act soon, the funeral- Oh, this is Angel. <laughs> I really thought that they were going to die. I mean, they killed off Yuya, so I thought like, oh, they're really killing them off. I'm like so delighted. If we do not act soon, the funeral song shall herald the coming of the darkness. Why can you never speak in plain Japanese miserable polytron? He's saying the door is planning to turn Kawara into a biological weapon. What? We can explain while we walk, assuming I don't run out of breath. Very well, let us proceed. Kawara, are you alive? Uh-oh. Woo! Okusan has a bad feeling about this. Ryota is not normal. Miserable medical man, what have you done to him? Why, what isn't the son of noble Labelle family? What is none of the prestige doing here? Ho 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 ho. Your pathetic jabs mean nothing to me. What have you done to Kawara? I've granted him his wish. That is all. It is almost ten. The human forces are gathered above. Mr. Kawara must now return to the surface and begin the end of the human race. Kawara would wish for no such thing. He would never harm a human. Right, Kawara? It seems he says not agree with you. Ho 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 ho. Bah! He has been swallowed by the demon spores. Our voices do not reach him. It is time for us to go. He has but little time left in this world and cannot afford to waste any of it. He has... Oh, this would be something. He has little time? What does that mean? His duty is now to fly about the world spreading the seeds of thought. Seeds of Thuro. All... Putting the seeds throughout all of humanity. Figured out what they meant to type. It will be a feat impossible for any normal rock dove. Of course, he will be shot at as well. If he were to fall from his wounds, he would die before completing his task. Coo! Do not fear. Okasan will stop Ryota here and now. Coo! There he goes. 
Mr. Kawar has traded his free will for a normally impossible physical tenacity. He's been brainwashed. We have to stop him and bring him back to his senses before he reaches the surface. But Oko is stronger than any of us, and he's sent flying just like that. How can we keep him here? Um... Kawara is very strong, but lacks control right now, right? Maybe we should ask Hira. Excuse me. What? Him? He's nuts. <laughs> Black Belladonna. There he goes again, spouting nonsense. Wait, Kawara, stop! Ugh! Here, there goes Shirogane. The demon Red Eye speaks. Seal the disaster with the power of the Chosen One. He's reacting. How is this frail Luzon able to affect him? What is he doing? Hypnotizing him. According to the documents back there, Higure has the ability to pull others into his own fantasies and break down their mental restraints. I was talking to the doctor about it earlier, too. I think it's real. Mental restraints? Like how desperate man can be stronger than usual. The demon red eye heralds the awakening. By the power of the blood-stained hand, I seal the funeral song. Coo! Okusan attack! Okusan cannot possibly lose in a fight with him. There, there we go, perfect! We're supposed to convince Ryota to stop, while ourselves being drawn into some bizarre fantasy. This is madness! Don't think about the consequences, Shirogane, just go along with it! Prepare yourselves. We fight, brethren bound, with the Red Lotus Fetters. Oh god, it's another battle? Ryota. Hexterus, Melodia, Funus appears. Angel's turn. <laughs> Here we go, okay. Black Demon, be silent! Hexterus, Melodia, Fundus, now it's time to break Wallenstein's spell. Hear the call of the Red Lotus. Don's turn, okay. What can San do? He can coo or he can cuckoo. He's gonna coo! <laughs> coo! A violent Ryota is not a good Ryota. Come to your senses. Kazakai's turn. Uh, come back. We're trying our best for you, Kawara. Come back to us. I guess that hurts too. Sakuya's turn. Okay, listen to me. Do you not care? Do you not plan to destroy all we've gained? Stop, Kawara! This is not the path you must travel! Come on, why aren't you loading? Questions turn. <gasps> it's me! Jeez, Ryota, you're causing every birdie trouble. I don't want to see you like this either. I'm the only Berserker class character this story needs. Wake up already, Ryota. Ryota was defeated! Oh, it was defeated by my ghost! Okay. <clears throat> uh. Kuara, pull yourself together. Do you want this? No, I don't. Cuckoo! Ryota's a vegetarian and shouldn't exert himself. I don't want to make anyone sad. The remitter reactivated. Fascinating. It should not have been possible for some hours yet. These is half in the mind, after all. Outlook is surprisingly important. Suppose this means my data was insufficient. This is the end, Dark Sorcerer Wallenstein. Be judged by the Crimson Breast. Wait, Angel. It's not just his fault. Why do you protect him? He's the one who did this to you. Tell me, Doctor. Why did you go so far to grant my wish? Why did I grant your wish? My reason is nothing of note. It's not worth telling. It was merely an experiment that has now come to an end. You must have had a reason. You aren't the sort to go around talking to children without some purpose. I want to know the answer to everything. The answer is nowhere near as glamorous as you're expecting, I assure you. Hey, good morning, Issa. Sorry to spring this on you, but could you take a look at these? What is it, sir? You seem excited. It's amazing. The healers we got earlier. The healers. Ah. The Gila cells from last month. Yeah, them. From the unusually old human. Hating science even after death, can't we at least call samples by their proper name? You've always been serious like that, Isa. These samples are the sweet lovebirds. Touch them with kindness, and they respond beautifully. 
Just how many lovebirds do you have again? Perhaps you should call them pet birds instead. Mm, maybe you're right. Anyway, look at these. We've been looking into cancer cell immortality. This... Indeed. These results are amazing. You're quite lucky with these things. It's all about love. Or intuition? That too. Wara Ryuji. He's quite possibly the most gifted researcher alive. He has abilities and intuition that not even he can explain. Hey, good morning, Issa. Nice weather, huh? Makes me want to do something outside. It's already evening. I believe one normally switches to good evening around now. Good morning whenever I get up, Issa. Get distracted by things like common sense and you'll miss the greatest discoveries of your life. Sophistry. Hey, good morning, Issa. Oh, all of these scenes are in the old research. Old school. Whoopsie, we're low on cash. Here, uh, was this the one? I didn't ask you to pick it up for me. Here, take it. It's not like we're running out. You sound like a pushy salesman. Your white right wing is injured, right? If there's anything I can help you with, just ask. I've been doing fine so far. Hey, good morning, Issa. Hey, can I say something? What is it, sir? I'm somewhat busy. You're always busy. If I waited for you to take a break, I'd die of old age before I got to say. Taking like, talking like this gets us nowhere. Guess what? I had a kid. Huh? I see. Congratulations. What? You don't have anything else to say? Not particularly. Reproduction is natural for all living creatures. Of course, were I to become a father, I would feel bad for the child, given my habit of locking myself away in the laboratory. Oh, so this is Cora's dad. That's why he granted the wish. The only bird who I ever recognized, the only one I ever recognized is worthy of my respect. Hey, good morning, Issa. I brought you something cool. Hmm? What is it? Fossil, look at it. It's huge. You act like an excited child. Hey, I like geology too. Uh, it tempts me with a spouse breach. I will carry on your research while you're out while you're out then. Go on. Dang, you're cold. Hey, listen, want to come with me on a business trip sometimes? Field observation is fun. My next one's at the start of the month. While I'm interested in your work, sir, I'm partway through fascinating process at the moment. Perhaps another time. Yeah? I'll invite you next time then. I bet traveling you would, with you would be a blast. Field observation is not exactly sightseeing. I'll make sure to open time in my schedule, though. last moments were dreadfully anticlimactic. He fell ill with a disease endemic to the island. By the time we returned home, he was so emaciated one could barely recognize him. He had watched as many other birds succumb to disease, but I was sure, sure that he would die in this examination room surrounded by his family. Oh no. Issa, I always knew this was a possibility. Yes, sir. I don't regret the way I did things. No, sir. But I just remembered, I do have one regret. I've never done anything a father's supposed to do. I'd promised to take time off for the first time in years. I want you to do me a favor, Issa. If you ever run into my son, can you do something for him in my stead? Rather vague request. It's too nice. He never asked for something, even if he wanted it. I suspect he inherited that trait from his father. <laughs> anyway, if you ever happen to meet him, you don't have to go out of your way to find him or anything. Very well. I shall remember. What is his name? Ryota. It's Kawara Ryota. You vanished from my life before I ever told you my feelings. I've chased your shadow since then. Is this what they mean by quitting while you're ahead? Or was I just cowardice? No matter how I studied life, its past, its future, I will never be able to surpass you. And that was my only goal. Kawara Ryota, the son of Dr. Kawara. Carrying half his genetic material, otherwise unrelated. This boy, he may be the only way for me to catch your shadow now. Seventh class, ending. Okay. Eighth class, last one. Last one, okay. Wow. When your father died, my world was altered. One might say this influence over me grew after death, both for good and for ill.
Waruji. All I can recall of him now is his voice and the color of his wings. He rarely returned home, always leaving my mother and me alone. You did this, to carry out my father's will. You misunderstand. This was not just a parting kindness between colleagues. I doubt that there is anyone in the world with a stronger sense of duty than mine. This was his final challenge to me, and you see the result. But your refusal is hardly rational. I was trying only to grant your wish, and had you but accepted, it would be so. Are you dissatisfied with something? A world without strife, where no one would have loved one stolen from them. That was the world I wished for. I never asked for a world where human race is killed. Pity that you did not say so eight years ago. What an what absurd contract was this? Yeah, it is absurd. It is absurd. There is no power in prayer. I should never have met you. Doctor, my wish ends today. Father is no longer in this world, and there's no reason for you to chase after his final anymore. Oh, <laughs> does this mean that you are sympathizing with me? Oh, how I have fallen. I can feel his pitying gaze even now. Very well, this contract ends today, and I must admit defeat. It's not over yet. We must open the gate of Tartarus in the depths of the abyss. We have only about ten minutes until the humans come from above. I see. You are still alive, gentlemen. Mr. Leone? I bring with me all of those who had taken refuge in the gym. Whoa, it's like something out of a science fiction movie! I bet this was built by the MIBs! Rad! Well, I guess well, I guess nobody's panicking anyway. Mr. Shirogane, I will cover Sakazaki's body before I leave. Have no fear. I am grateful to you. The exit is no doubt activated by the vital signs of the researchers who work here. Correct. Do not fear. I shall lead you to it. Cuckoo! The doctor is even creepier when he's being cooperative. <laughs> Do not base my actions on foolish pride of emotion. I carry out an experiment, and I have now obtained the result. I have nothing more to gain or lose here. Jeez. Is that everyone? Thank God. Shall we go, Cora? Can you stand? Uh, yeah, but... We need to bring Terry with us. I think everyone else has gone outside. Doctor, I shall not forget what has taken place here. Once we are outside, I shall see that you face judgment. Yeah, at least somebody knows that this really is Shu's fault. Like, who the fuck interprets the wish for humanity and the birds to not fight anymore as, like, destroy one of them? Like, come on. Your words are haughty and immature as always. Do as you please if you can. I will indeed. Remember my face, villain. Who knows? I might find you uninteresting, so I may well forget. I must think carefully about my plans once I'm outside. I still have so much research to... Sun gun? Doctor. A gunshot echoes through the room. The doctor collapses. Madness! There should still be time before the humans. Mr. Nanaki? Pistol in his hand. He wobbles over to the doctor with the same unsteady careless gait as always. And... Ugh! Nanaki, what? Stop, the doctor should have a fair trial once we- A fair trial? What do you think, doctor? Uh, well, I am impressed at your acuity in attacking my uninjured left side. But of course. Thank you. Tell me, Dr. Iwamine. No, Isa. I need to bring him back with me. That's why I've done all this. Tell me, where is Nagaki? Nanaki points his gun at the immobilized doctor. He looks quite prepared to shoot the partridge dead at any moment. Oh, is that it? Oh, I've forgotten. Mr. Fujishura's brother. He was a quail. What? Nageki, are you by yourself here again? You should play in the park with everyone else. I'm fine. I would just get tired. Been talking to me a waste of time, Atori. You've been busy recently, have you not? I know we're short on money. That's not something you need to worry about. We adults are working hard to make sure you don't have to worry. You're a child too, Atori. You're only five years older than me, after all. 
You don't think I should be working? No, that's not what I meant. I just, I can't do anything. At least want to stay out of your way. It's not about whether you're doing anything or not. You're a part of the family and we need you. It doesn't help. My body like this, I can't work or go to school. It's just how it is. You're thinking too hard, Nagaki. Let's go pick some millet in the yard. It's almost dinner time. Full stomach scares the bad things away, right? September 2nd, 2180. Atoful House. Where the rest of the war orphans and I live together. I was always a little better at studying than the others, so I teach at the local school to help make ends meet. Going to work and coming home every Friday. We all gather around and have supper. There are children who go to school. There are those who work like me, and children like Nageki who stay home. Our family's a patchwork of ages and lives, but we always eat together on this day. What should we have? We might have enough left over, or we could pool our money and buy something. I had more work than usual last month, so I got paid a little more than usual. I'll get something nice. I, I'll head home and see what everyone wants first. This day was different. Our home was surrounded by security vehicles. And it's an attack on the human liberation front. We can't let anybody in. <clears throat> we sent two humans negotiations, but they were shot. We're going to st storm the place. Get back. It's dangerous. Hey, you, are you listening? I remember angry shots coming from every direction. But I couldn't tell what they were saying. The only thing I could focus on were the gunshots from inside. Today was supposed to be our day. No one has ever been missing on a Friday before. No one can disappear today. We have to be together today. No matter what. When I went in, the gunshots had stopped. All that was left were corpses and ruin and... Uh... Everyone... Everyone's covered in blood, immobile, the humans, the security forces, and my family. What did we do? We had nothing. Our parents and our homes had already been stolen by the humans. All we had left were each other. Why do they have to keep stealing from us? Why? Why? Hit Tori. You were outside. Good. Nageki, you're alive. Everyone else. I see. Nageki was hiding in the innermost room. He must have heard everything from inside his hiding place. Human corpses are scattered throughout the room. Nageki, were you afraid? Sorry. It wasn't your fault, Hitori. I wasn't here when you needed me. Don't apologize, Hitori. I don't know how I could live if you were gone, too. When I found him then, I didn't notice, but none of the human corpses in that room had been shot. This will be our room from now on. The house is too big for just the two of us. Right. It's a little lonely. Yeah. Hitori, what should I do? Isn't there anything I can do to help? You just have to be happy and well. Don't push yourself. We'll find something for you to do, okay? I noticed almost as soon as we moved out of Hatoful House. He was never very healthy to begin with, but he's getting worse and worse. What would start out as a slight cold would turn into a high fever and go on for days. It was painful to watch. Was it really just his weak body? I couldn't do anything. Should we get a doctor, Nageki? I'm fine. I'm fine. Nageki, wait. You still have a fever. Don't worry about the dishes. I'll take care of them. I told you. I'm fine. Don't. If you just say how you feel outright, I'd feel better too, Nagaki, okay? But how about this? From now on, I'm fine isn't allowed. What do you... Whenever you say you're fine, you never are. Okay. Go to bed for now, okay? Tomorrow I'm taking you to the doctor. Uh-oh. Doctors are not good in this game. This is highly unusual. Nagaki has a genetic condition which impairs his immune system. Impairs his immune system. All living creatures inherit defense systems against viruses and the like from their parents. We call them the immune system. But Nagaki's is abnormally weak, and that's why he gets sick so easily. Indeed, he can, can become infected with diseases that bodies such as yours or mine would fight off easily. It's probably best if he avoids going outside, as that could bring him into contact with more dangerous viruses. He could become seriously ill with little to no warning. Please, can you cure him? I will find whatever money it takes. He's the only family I have left. I understand how you feel, but as I said, his condition is hereditary. I've never seen anything like it. I'm sorry, but I can't help him. 
We went to many hospitals and I talked to many doctors. They all said the same thing. I can't help him. Someone please save Nagaki. Anyone. I'll do anything. We had been all alone, but we found home together. And I w- it was taken from us. And now this... Someone please help him. Soon after the start of 2183, a letter arrived. It was from a researcher at St. Pigeonation's Medical Institute, a Mr. Isa Soma. I have received a report about the boy named Fujishiro Nagaki from a doctor at a certain hospital. I believe I know what his condition is. It is extremely rare, so my fellow researchers and I would be grateful for a chance to assist in curing it. We hereby invite him to come study at St. Pigeonation's. We believe that solving the riddle of his sickness will be a great advance to all bird science. The medical center will pay for his tuition. St. Pigeonations is a school of great prestige. Our curricula and facilities are among the best in the world. The medical center is located on the school grounds. We propose that he live in the center, out of concern for his delicate health. We'll have access to professional medical care at any time he should need it. Please consult with the rest of your family, and if you're interested, contact me with the fo- at the following address. I'll be waiting. Isa Soma This is amazing, Nagaki. I'm glad we went to so many hospitals. I never expected an invitation like this. I don't want to go. I want to stay with you, Atori. But you'll be able to go to school. I can only teach you what I know, and there's a lot that I don't know. And you'll be able to make friends. The doctors there will help you with your illness. You won't have to be sick. Do you not want me here, Hitori? Of course I do, but I'm worried. If you were to get really sick, I wouldn't be able to do anything. I think it will be better for you to stay with the doctors. Be lonely by myself, but I can wait until you're better. Become strong, Nagaki, and then come back here. I'll wait for you however long it takes. Okay. Wow. This is so sad. And so Nagaki enrolled in St. Pigeonations. There's been a lot of us at Hatoful House, and after that, I was with Nagaki. I was lonely living by myself for the first time, but I was more worried about Nagaki. I hope he makes good friends, but he's never been very sociable. At least he'll have an easier life there than here. And most importantly, they'll be looking for a cure. The summer of that year, he sent a lot of letters home. I'm going to be undergoing intensive treatment over the summer. I wanted to come home, but they said this would be better for me. How are you? I'll write again soon. I asked Dr. Issa about a meeting, but he said no. I'm not the only one here with an unusual illness, and they have to be very careful about who comes in. Summer's half over now. Is it hot out? The basement of the center is always the same light and the same temperature. I miss you, Hitori. I'm fine. I'm fine, Hitori. Don't worry about me. I was worried. Nagaki hadn't told me he was fine since he promised not to three years ago. What are they doing to him? Are they doing something bad to him? I've tried calling Dr. Issa, but he always replies with progress is good and everything's fine. If everything's fine, why won't they let me talk to him? I snuck into the medical center. I need to know if he's really alright. He said that he was undergoing intensive care in the basement. That must be where he is. How do I get there? I need to... I need to go to the entrance to the basement. That was when I heard the alarm. I could hear urgent footsteps and the sound of wings. This building has all the most advanced equipment. They must have noticed me. But I was greeted at the corner not by guards but by panicked researchers, all shouting the same thing and heading for the exit. Fire! Fire! What? A fire! Subject 00 set a fire. Call the fire department. Black smoke rolls towards me from the inner corridors. Nagaki, where is Nagaki? Nagaki, say something please, where are you? It's happening again. Nagaki needs me and I'm not there. I always leave him alone when he's in pain. The smoke is clogging my lungs with its foul stench, but I run onwards anyway. Nagaki's there, in a room filled with fire. Nagaki, it's me, Hitori. I'm here to save you. What happened? What did they do to you? Come on, we have to get out of here. I'm sorry. His face is clouded. He shuts the door and I hear the lock click shut. Open the door, Nagaki. Hitori... I can't go outside anymore. I can't live anymore. What did they do to you? I'm a fool. All this time I thought you were getting better. I thought you'd come home cured. I should be the one apologizing, Nagaki. Please, come home with me to our home. Listen, Hitori. I recorded everything that happened here. 
and hid it in the library. It's wrong. This is the only way to stop them. What are you talking about? We can talk later. I can't let you die. Can you do me a favor, Hitori? Anything. Please. Please make sure there is nothing left of my body. And... Isune Hitori. I heard that he had died after the fire, but it would seem that our investigation was lacking. It is hardly easy to change your name and face. Nageki. He's calling. He's calling me, you know. Isa, I came to greet Nageki. Where is he? I see you're losing hold of your sanity. Oh my god. He dyed all of his feathers white. So they don't know. I'm serious. I've been waiting for this from the beginning. He told me what you were doing to him here, but then you closed the facility. I've been waiting for this, Isa, waiting for you to open the place again, ever since I joined the facility. He's still in here, isn't he, Nageki? There were indeed some pieces of him left after the fire. They would have been degraded in mere hours had I left them. It pleases you to call those bits of meat Nageki. I will not attempt to stop you. But those pieces have already been transferred to Mr. Kawara's body. Ugh. <coughs> oh. You won't die just yet, Isa. Don't worry. Don't worry. But tell me, where is Nageki? I have to take him home now. If by Nageki you mean what is left of him after the fire, then it... Mr. Kawara's liver. The cells from his body that contain the Karam virus are now inside Mr. Kawara parasitizing him. Oh, is that it? I see. Thank you, Isa. Hang on just a little longer, Isa. I need to ask Nageki what he thinks he should do with you. Mr. Nanaki comes over to me, the same soft smile on his face as when he teaches class. Can you hear me, Nageki? I'm so sorry I made you wait so long. I'm here now. Sir, it's me, Kawara Ryota. I'm from your class. Please snap out of it. I don't know what's happened in the past, Nanaki, but this is not time for such foolery. We've only a few more minutes before the humans enter the school grounds. It won't take them long to find this place. Do you move over for a second, Shirogane? I need to talk to Kawara. He points the gun at Sakuya. Oh, shit. Sakuya, he's serious. It's too noisy in here. Come on, Kawara. Let's leave the room, just the two of us. What are you thinking? Are you planning to lock yourself in? Open the door. Open it, I say. Isa said he's in your liver, didn't he? It's the liver, I wonder. Do you know, Kawara? Sir, Nageki would have never wanted this. He stares thoughtfully at my stomach, a knife in his hand. My body feels weak. I think he must have put too much into that fight earlier. I won't be able to resist. Nageki, Nageki, can you hear me? I'm saving you. What have Kawara done you could have been to find you? Nageki, Nageki, Nageki. Nageki, Nageki, Nageki. Oh, holy shit. Nageki, oh my god. Sir, listen to me. He moves the knife from one place to another as if making an estimation. He's going to... Oh, I see. It's hide and seek. I'll look as hard as I can then. Just a little longer. We'll be able to go home in just a little bit, Nageki. Together. Stop it, Hitori. The knife is stuck deep into the wall under my wing. I can hear Nagaki's voice, but I can't see him. The voice is coming from inside of me. Mr. Kawara, let me use your body for a bit. Okay, go ahead. Can you hear me, Hitori? Of course. I've talked with you every night. You told me, Nagaki. Told me to come get you. Told me to exact revenge on Isa. No, Hitori, that was not me. I never told you to do that. You for have you forgotten what I asked you to do, Hitori? The second thing. I remember, of course I remember. So let's go home. Listen, Hitori, I am no longer here. I can no longer go home with you. Who said that? Oh, I see. It was Isa, wasn't it? Only he would say something mean like that. No, it wasn't him. Don't worry, Nageki. I'll take care of him in a minute. Don't worry. Hitori, I never asked you to come for me. I never asked for you to exact revenge. Who was it? 
Nageki. It was Nageki. I died because of you. You abandoned me here. I never wanted to come here. It was you who killed me. You killed me. You killed me. You killed me. I will not forgive Itori. I'm sorry, Nageki, but I know no apology will ever fix it. Sir, what? It's a shadow in Hattori's heart, his own shadow pretending to be mine. Come for me, Hattori. I'm here. I know, I know. I don't want to be alone. I don't want to, you to be alone. You will never forget me. You'll live with me. You will live with me with your sin forever. That is what you want, isn't it? You want me to carry this pain? I will, Nagaki. I won't ask for forgiveness. I won't. He's crying. Tortured by his own shadow. Sorry, Nagaki. I'm sorry. Sorry. I don't want you to be in pain. He's trying to destroy his feelings of guilt. He wants to be saved. If you're here, his pain will go away. Help me save him. Yes. Oh my god, really like every character was super intertwined into this. This is crazy. Hattori, I was tortured by them here in this place. It was terrible. Issa and the others should die in pain. All of them should die. As long as they live, my pain will never disappear. Mr. Nanaki. Revenge will solve nothing. Are you and Nageki both lost those important to you in strife. You should know best of all people that revenge helps none. It brings no happiness, only pain. If I hadn't been there, Nagaki would never have died. I was never there when he needed me. I'm sorry, Nagaki. If I had been better, this would never have happened. Everything would have been fine if you'd never met me. If I hadn't been there, you would never have felt pain. Or why? The time Nagaki spent with you was his greatest treasure. I know how wonderful it is to be able to get together with your loved ones, too. Nagaki's glad to be with you, sir. There's nothing to regret. Be with me. Look at me, Hitori. You're only my words, Hitori. I will tear your heart. And when it heals, I will tear it again and again and again. That is your punishment. It will be wonderful to live with me again. Wonderful. Hitori. That's Nagaki. Hitori. Please, Hattori, listen to me. The voice you hear is that of your own shadow. You've been hurting yourself all this time. Stop blaming yourself. I don't want to see you in pain. You ask for two things, Nagaki. The first was come save me. So I... Listen to me, Hattori. My first wish was for you to make my body disappear from this world. As long as I live, as long as my body remains, someone will try to use the Charon virus. The virus must disappear and my body with it. It will only bring sadness as long as it remains. You asked for one other thing. You asked me to take revenge on Dr. Issa, on all those who brought you pain. Yes, I need to grant this wish. I need to. Hitori. No, Hitori. That was not my wish. Remember, Hitori. Remember my final wish. It's not about whether you're doing anything or not. You're a part of the family and we need you. It doesn't help. With my body like this, I can't work or go to school. That's just how it is. You're thinking too hard, Nagaki. Let's go pick some millet in the yard. It's almost dinner time. A full stomach scares the bad things away. Right? The beautiful sunset. I guess it's autumn already. Are you cold, Nagaki? I'm fine. Cory, it would be easier for you without me, right? Why do you think that? I heard you and the others talking about it. Medicine costs a lot more than food. You're paying for it out of your salary, right? If you had the money for yourself, you could buy better food. You wouldn't have to work so much. So you could be better off without me. Don't say that, Nagaki. I don't care about fancy food or free time. You're more important than any of that. You mean more to us than you think, Nagaki. You were very young when you came here, so maybe you don't remember, but losing family's hard. I want to stay like this, watching over the people I love, forever. So listen, maybe if it looks like I'm working just for you, but... For me, too. Seeing you happy makes me happy. Thank you, Hattori. I just wish I wasn't such a burden to you. Stop that already. You've never been a burden to me. Here, have some millet. Eat well, and we can sleep well, too. Let's hope for good dreams, okay? 
So that's his wish, to not be a burden. I hope we can stay with everyone like this forever. Yes. yes. My second wish was, live, Hitori, live and be happy. Nageki, I can't be happy. You're gone. I can't be with you anymore. Look at me, Atori. I want you to live. You don't have to feel guilty for me. I couldn't tell why I was still here. At first, I thought my remains, the parts of me that are inside Mr. Kawara now, were keeping me here. But I don't think so now. I think I was worried. Worried that you wouldn't be able to keep going alone. I can't, Nageki. I can't go on without you. I don't want to live without you. We've stayed here too long, Hitori. We have to move on. Don't worry, we'll meet again somewhere, sometime. I wonder if, um, I wonder if, uh, the teacher's, you know, spouse that he lost was lost in that whole, like, shootout thing as well. That would be really sad. And then he only had his brother left. Or maybe the spouse came after, I'm not really sure. Mr. Kawara, thank you. Oh, that was Mr. Kawara, thank you. Kawara, are you unhurt? Yeah, I'm fine. How unexpected. If it were me, your insides would have been divulge themselves to their and their secrets long ago. Nanaki, I will not forgive this madness. Don't worry about it, Sakuya. It's already over. We need to get out. We're already out of time. Indeed. Nagaki was kept frozen here, right, Doctor? Indeed he was. The facility was sealed off, so it was hardly difficult to keep people from snooping around. I'm staying here with Karen. Oh, I'm staying here with Karen. What are you saying, Kawara? Come with us at once. I see, Kawara. I thought you would say that. The Charon virus has now colonized in your body quite completely. If you were to leave, any humans you encountered would suffer a painful death. What? Was this your plan all along? You conniving physician. Surely there is a way to remove the virus. Alas, that would be impossible with the current medical technology. Once established in the body, it is quite tenacious. Even if we were to remove the tissue from Mr. Fujishiro, Mr. Kawara would still carry the virus. Madness! Lunacy! The same goes for Miss Terry's damaged brain. It is currently preserved inside of a glass jar, but just barely. Indeed, given the Labour 9's behavior and the subsequent damage she was dealt, there is no guarantee that her personality and memories are still retrievable. With the current medical technology, anyway. Shrogane, let's go outside. Do you mean to leave Kawara here? How deep does your selfish nature run? We'll come back for him. It's impossible now, but one may be able to remove the virus from his body. I think that Nagaki would say the same. Well, Mr. Shirogane, I think perhaps you would do well to respect Mr. Kawara's thoughts on the matter. I feel as if the one day has brought an entire lifetime worth of fatigue. I just want to rest for a little while. I'm worried about Mother. Sakuya, could you tell her I'll be back one day? Wow. So I still get to run off with Shu as a, a bright brain in a jar. That's wonderful. I love that for me. That was my favorite ending anyway. Listen, Kawara. A label, no. I never go back on my word. No matter how long it takes, I'll come back for you. I swear. So, promise me, please. Promise me that you'll leave this place with me alive. Right. I promise. I'll be waiting for you. A lot ha sure happened today, Karen. Does that mean we're finally going and getting into recap mode, Ryota? I'm half sick from being stuck out here not even knowing what's going on. <laughs> Yeah, I guess you only got to see bits and pieces of the story. Yep, so you'll fill me in, please? Mm, I guess I have plenty of time for it. I'm gonna miss eating udon, but having you here makes things at least a little better, right? Where do I start? Everything that happened, what's happening now, and everything that might happen one day. We have plenty of time to talk about it all. Here we go. Achievement unlocked. I'll be waiting. Holy shit. Y'all, this game was insane. 
I really, really loved it. Magical Boyfriend original version, yes. There's the real credits. Finish the real game, you guys. Okay. I usually, usually with these games, it does not like when you play the ending song. So we are gonna, um... Oh, we can't skip it. I thought I could click and skip it, but no. <clears throat> no birds were harmed during the making of this game. <laughs> Only fictional ones, right? This game was awesome. Definitely a favorite for me. I really, really enjoyed it. Okay, 